So I just washed my hair and I washed my clip-ins. Um, when I wash my clip-ins, I don't disturb the curls. I just kind of wash them and then I'll show you like what I use to revitalize the curls and set the curls. Um, so I'm going to reapply my clip-ins. I'm off today and I have a lunch date with my friends. So um, I think I'm just going to do my clip-ins like going around the back. Um, so I'm just going to start in the back. I will probably do a video. I need a rat towel, so I have my other comb that has a rat towel. Um, I will do a video that talks about like how I wash my hair. I have changed my wash day practices. Um, and I can also go into like what I use to treat. I have eczema bad, um, like really bad, like bad. And it comes up on my abdomen and it comes up in my scalp. Um, so I will go in to that and I can tell you guys what I use. So I'm just gonna, I sectioned my hair like in the back. I just made a section and I'm gonna put a clip in there. I do put my clip ins in my hair while it's wet. I leave them in for about a week. <laughs> Because I have changed my products, I am able to wash my hair once a week now. I don't have to wash it every three days like I was. So this is the clip-in. I, I, I just co-wash these with um, conditioner. There's some kinks in them. So I'm not going to really disturb the curls. I'm just going to like pull it down. I do use Uncle Funky's Daughter's products. I love them. Um, she has a thirsty curl. I'm just going to spray that in this. And I'm gonna use a wide tooth comb and just, I like this one better, and just comb through the clip in to detangle it, right? These are cheap clip ins. I do have more expensive ones, but I'm gonna rock out with these until I can't wear them anymore. These were only $20. You do get a lot of shedding, um, it's okay. But I use like a thick comb, I'm holding it like this and I'm combing through the clip-in. I'm trying not to like over agitate the curls, um, but I do want to detangle it because I was in my hair for a week. Um, and then I use another product by Uncle Funky's Daughter. This is called Super Curl. These are tiny because I bought the sample pack. I'm gonna re-up and get the just the products that I like out of the sample pack. And you only need a little bit of this. So I'm just gonna take a little bit and I'm just gonna take it through the clip-in. And it just bounces those curls back in. So I haven't agitated the curls. Um, I don't want it like big and fluffy. I do want it to kind of look like my natural hair. Um, again, this is $20 clip-in. So you are going to get a lot of shedding. But they're cost effective. Um, so there, that's how I do it. I don't want to agitate it. I kind of want it to still have a curl pattern. And then you just clip them in. So I've sectioned out a part of my hair and I'm just going to clip this in. There. And then I just continue. I'm going to continue on up and on the sides and I'm going to leave some out in the front and that's how we're going to, that's how I'm going to do it. So I will um, speed this video up so you guys like don't have to watch me so i am just placing the clip-ins line by line all the way up um so you'll just continue to watch me just part my hair place the clip on and then i just work my way around my head and like a crescent like a like a half moon shape um again these clip-ons are like 20 dollar clip-ins so they have a ton of shedding um, like a lot of shedding, like a lot of hair came out. Um, but again, I'm just going to continue using these because they are sustainable, meaning that like you can use them more than once. Um, and they're easy for me to put in by myself. So again, like I don't feel like I have to pay anyone to do my hair to give myself like a more polished look. Um, 
So that's what I've just been doing. I've been rocking out with these clip-ons, and I'm really enjoying them. Um, if you want any information on where I got them, I can link in the description um, where I got them on Amazon. But I hope you continue to enjoy. I'm just going to finish doing my hair, and then I will show you how I finish it. So here I have just applied the last track in the front. So now I'm going to wet the leave out. That's just water. I'm going to spray my hair down with water um, and then start to blend my hair into the clip ends. So I just spray my hair down with water. Water's dripping down my face, but that's okay. Um, again, this these clip ends are like really cheap. So it's shedding everywhere. I'm just going to go in with the Dr. Funky's Daughter Super Curl, and I'm going to use that on my hair to start to blend it in with the clip-ins. I do typically use a gel when I do this, but my hair was freshly washed, and I just did not want to put gel in my hair because I just washed it, so I will put gel in it later. I'm just sticking my tongue out because I keep pulling hair off of my hands, and it's like kind of disgusting. So now I'm just going to continue to work the product through my hair and through the clip-ins just to blend my hair out. Um, I just continue smoothing it. Um, again, if I use a gel, it would have blended like a lot quicker. I just did not feel like putting a gel in my hair um, after washing it. So I'm just going to go on with the super curl, which is fine. Um, with these styles, I typically put a headband on, so it'll blend out okay and I'll be okay. Um, but I just like the, the ease of the clip-ons. I feel like it's a sustainable look because I can continue to use them and it just helps me become like a little bit more polished. Like I know I keep saying that, but that's how I feel. Um, I'm just fluffing it out um, and running product through it. And I'm just taking a look at my install. But again, like I am somebody who, I just don't believe in paying anybody for doing my hair. Um, so this is just something that I've started doing and I like it.